baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Early, baby, later, you can show me things. Recording and we're live. <laughs> Let me stop. All right, you guys. So I'm trying to set up. What's up, you guys? My name is Alyssa Chapman. If you don't know me, welcome to my channel. And today is going to be a girly and fall sophisticated get ready with me type of style, like makeup routine. And it's going to be also a juicy christian tmi girl talk so we're going to be talking about all things um singleness to men to um mental health just all things getting to the nitty-gritty of things throughout this video if you don't know what this channel is about this channel is about just all things mental health motivation encouragement positivity jesus and just all the loving kindness full of positive vibes good vibes over here on this channel so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any content because honey it's coming it's coming it's coming it's gonna be on and popping you know what i'm saying so yeah so like i said make sure that you like this video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel for some bonfire and lit content okay so let's get right into the video so i might just go ahead and um leave links to the products i'm going to be using throughout this video i might try to squeeze in a few little products i'm going to be using here and there but you know it just all depends on it so the first thing that i'm going to use is the elf power grip primer this thing right here is so good like this elf power grip primer is so good but let's get right on into the tmi girl talk of this video so, oh, my hair is in the way. This is going to be hard to do with my hair in the way. But the first thing that I want to talk about is singleness. So, you know, I know it's hard for some of us out here um, who might be single and dealing with a lot of things in life where you like feel like you, let me stop talking while I'm doing this. I know it's hard. For some of y'all out here who are single which i'm just saying like i know it's hard like the waiting season of trying to find a person maybe you're dating maybe you're just not dating at all and you're just in the season of singleness it's very hard your girl know it's hard you see people out here who might be having kids first of all they get married or they booed up with their boo or whatever this and that like i know it's hard it's hard but trust god trust god's process trust god's plan for your life he will bring the person within your life whether you're a woman or a man watching this video like he's gonna bring the person within your life who will be there for you compassionate for you so you don't have to settle for less which actually i'm reading a book by madison perrette trout which the love everybody wants and it's really really good i'm just starting it and it's very good basic about this loving yourself understands you need to accept god's love before any other person like a lot of us want to basically you know be all booed up with this person and find love but god already give you love already yes that love is great don't get me wrong but at the end of the day god loves you he's the greatest love of all everlasting love he gives you everlasting unfailing love so just remember that as you're going throughout your single season and you're just like oh my goodness i haven't found the one yet and i'm so i feel like i'm never gonna you know find a person of my dreams or whatever this and that like no you're gonna find a person of your dreams like i know what it's like i know i know trust me like the single the waiting season um and single season just it's trust me it's, it's it can not be fun sometimes but it's also a season of learning and a season of reflecting so like you learn more about yourself let's say you were in a relationship but you're not in a relationship right now or maybe you've been single your whole life like honey like i know what it's like to be in those positions or to be in a position in general of just being single pretty much just going through single season and i know like you feel like you kind of feel like oh does god see me does he see me going through this like god sees you going through it he really really does and i'm going to be looking at my mirror i'm so sorry but God sees you going through it. 
he sees you when you are dealing with those times of like you know depression and anxiety which we're going to get in with it in this video but he sees you when you're dealing with this the loneliness the isolation because sometimes isolation can be good but he sees what you're dealing with he sees what you are dealing with um throughout your life and all the struggles that you are dealing with he sees you but he one thing i want to say that has helped me throughout my time of singleness is diving into god's word like go into god's word deeply and deeply and deeply like go into god's word so deep and understand his love understand the love of jesus like the pre the peace that jesus um gives you because jesus is the prince of peace like just understand all that like i've been diving into the book of matthew and i tell you like in luke like of course all the gospels of the book i think it's the four gospels like matthew mark luke and john like honey it's it's so refreshing and like it revives you by the way check out my podcast called the revival mode podcast but yeah like it helps a lot to um dive into god's word while you're on your things of course you're supposed to dive into god's word daily but like go deeply into god's word like understand who you are as well like i said use this as a time to reflect and to understand who you are as a person who god created you to be and all those things um, when it comes to being in your single season in general so just understand that you're not alone you're not alone why you're going to clean up people out here who are single and who are dealing with the same things you're dealing with so never forget that and just trust god through the process trust god all right so the next thing that i want to talk about is depression honey well i tell y'all your girl has been through a rut of times like it's it's like even within the last like month or two like it's been very tough but i've been learning to like practice of course i want to mention which is gratitude gratitude helps when you are dealing with depression or even anxiety like it it, it helps a lot like we are dealing with those negative thoughts and you're thinking that oh i don't have this or oh, i don't have that like i'm telling you like gratitude is the key to it all like be think i write down five at least five things that i'm grateful for at least five things Sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes it's like less more. It doesn't matter. Just write down at least one thing. You can think of one thing that you're grateful for. That still counts. It counts. You know? Um, so yeah. And I want to mention too, I'm using the L'Oreal True Mesh New Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This stuff is really good. And it's almost like a foundation, I believe. It's almost like the elf um halo glow thingy. You know. But I'm gonna be using um Tarte. The Tarte um, Shape Tape Creamy Concealers. I'm going to mix these two. The colors um, Deep and the color Tan Deep Honey. So I'm going to be mixing them too. But um, back to depression. Like I know what it's like to deal with depression. I'm telling y'all. like it, 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 it kicks your butt sometimes. But don't let it take you down. Don't let it get you down so down. Like you just feel like you can't get out of it. I know what it's like to feel at that point. But... You can overcome depression. You can get healed from depression. Like, Jesus heals all. Jesus heals all. And at the end of the day, like, I know what it's like to just feel so low. So low, you just like, man, I can't do this no more. I'm about ready to just throw in the towel. I can't, I can't do this no more. I know what it's like to feel like that. I know what it's like to feel that way. But you can't give up. You were not put on this earth just to give up, just to take up space. Like Trent Shelton says, I bet I hit one of his books I read a while back or a few years back. It is just, it's the truth. Like we were not here to just take up space. Like, like you are here for a reason. You are here for a reason. Like, it, I, I, I really want to get deep within this video because I know what it's like to just go through those depressing moments. Those moments of depression where you just like, man, I don't know. Like, this is too much. And, oh, my hair is in my, call it my earring. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Anyways, um, you cannot, like, let this depression get, get take over you. I know what it's like to feel like you just can't brush your teeth. You can't take a shower. It's hard for you to get out of bed, eat. All this type of stuff. And, and I'm telling you, like, that depression is just like, it's so, like, when it comes to mental illness, like, if you were diagnosed with depression or clinical depression or whatever it might be, I know what it's like to go with those moments of just feeling, like, so low and just feeling like, you know, like, life has got the best of you. But it hasn't. 
It hasn't. You feel that way, but it hasn't. And one thing I do want to say is the fact that you may feel like you are low. You may feel like you aren't enough. You may feel like this life is like not worth it or you're not worth it or whatever it might be. Whatever negative thoughts that you have within your mind. But at the end of the day, claim God's truth over your life. Claim the Bible. Claim scripture over your life. Claim scripture over your life. Like, whatever you're dealing with throughout this life, like, whatever you're going through, whether it's financial struggles, whatever it might be, whatever type of negative thoughts that you are having, whether it, you don't have to be depressed, whatever negative thoughts you are having in general, just know that God is with you and state his truth, state his truth over your life. Say his truth over your life. Because Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. It gives you life. God's word revives you. It gives you so much life. Say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God has plans to prosper me. To give me a plan and a future. And not to harm me. If God before me, then who could be against me? God works all things out for my good. No weapon formed me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Like, I'm the head and not the tail. God's purpose will prevail. He gave me a purpose here on this earth on purpose. You have to state those things over yourself and over your life. You got to believe and believe in yourself and trust God. Like, and I know it's easier said than done. And yes, I, cause I've been through it. I know, I know, I know, but you can't give up. You cannot give up at all. And moving on to anxiety like honey the realness of anxiety is really bad like woo! well you just you could be out and about and you just start having anxiety like a feeling just come over you you just feel so anxious that way you don't have to be anxious about anything sometimes you're just anxious about nothing i know what it's like i, I trust me i dealt with that i was dealing with that at one point like what i went through what i went through before and you guys know my story about what i went through like honestly like i know that that anxiety is really bad but one thing I do want to say about anxiety, that anxiety does not have you. And sometimes those those thoughts that you are having are just thoughts. Like they are they they are they are just thoughts. They are not like things that could be real. Most of the time it's not real. Like it's a thought that has come through your mind. So don't believe and be negative about yourself and think negative and be like, oh my goodness, like this is this is gonna happen. I'm scared about this and what if what if this, what if that? Like don't think don't don't think about the what ifs. If you do think about the what if like say what if something good happens. Forget about something what if something bad happens. Say what if something good happens and don't worry. Like worrying like like it says in the Bible like the tomorrow worries about itself. Like don't worry about tomorrow. Like it's like God cares about you. He has you in the palm of his hand. Like he loves you. You have royal blood running through your veins. You are loved like by God. Like God is with you through it all. Like it's it's really like like you know, so never give up on that. Never give up on like just like trying to overcome the anxiety cuz you will overcome anxiety. Like I like I said like when it comes to mental health like I know I know but you will get through this you will get through it i know it may seem like i'm rambling i'm so sorry but this is a get ready with me and try to do makeup and talk at the same time it's a little hard y'all I'm, I'm telling y'all it's hard to do makeup and talk at the same time but the next thing i want to talk about is hygiene and self-care so like i'm going to explain like hs if you don't know what hs is it's hydronitis superativa i'll put it on the screen it is a very debilitating disease, skin disease that I suffer from. You get boils and lumps in areas that have hair follicles or sweat glands. And basically all areas where hair may come, like, you just never know. So you can get it under your arms. People, some people get it on their neck, even their face. Some people, I get it under my arm. Some people get it, like, you can get it under your breast, in your groin area, in your buttocks area. I mean, that could be a little TMI, but that's where HS occurs. And like when it comes to hygiene self care, take care of yourself. Like bring yourself a bubble bath, use your favorite perfume, use your favorite lotion, your favorite body wash. Like do things to take care of yourself. Especially with people who like me, like who do with HS. Sometimes like it's hard for me to you know like actually want to take care of myself. Cause I think it's a bad thing. Like like really like you're supposed to take care of yourself. But I know what it's like to have like 
fear what people might think like say oh you're doing too much or whatever this and that like no you're not doing too much this goes to us women as well like you know we love to take care of ourselves when it comes to like pampering ourselves and things like that like honey like do what you need to do like make sure that you're okay and you can do it at home you don't even have to spend money if you want to spend money on yourself honey do it do it do it do it like don't be so hard on yourself either that's self-care as well like being easy on yourself like you having a rough week honey like just bring it to a bubble bath go shopping if you want to you don't have to spend money like i said like just do your makeup like wear your favorite outfit you know do your hair or, or do your nails or whatever it might be like you don't have to spend money like use what you have at home or watch your favorite movie eat your favorite snack like it's simple as that this is like a natural get rid of me if you guys didn't remember like i don't know like i didn't do my eyebrows y'all look at my eyebrows like oh i didn't do my eyebrows so it's gonna be a natural get rid of me because i did not i forgot to do my eyebrows so it's gonna be a natural get rid of me and i might just conceal them or just leave them like they is to be honest because i don't really care at this point this is very chaotic but yeah like hs is very like hard and like but you gotta take care of yourself like you gotta take care of yourself and you gotta love yourself you gotta love yourself love yourself how god created you to be love yourself who you are and everything like that and moving on let's talk about something that like is a little bit you know like in the media stuff. but let's talk about makeup versus no makeup do what is best for you do what you want to do if you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. If you don't want makeup, don't wear makeup. I don't, I don't get it. Like, like, it is not, it's not the fact that you don't need makeup. Honey, the makeup needs you. You put it on and you wear it. Like, honey, like, you do you. Like, if you want makeup, you can wear makeup. Like, I don't get it. Like, so I know it's like controversial or whatever you want to call it. And I forgot to tell y'all the products I was using. Like I said, I put it in the description, but I forgot to be telling y'all this stuff. But honestly, do what is best for you. Don't do it because you saw this person, um, because you want to do it because you want to please this person or that person. Don't do it because of the fact that you want to be keeping up with the Joneses or keeping up with society. Like, that's, that's all I got to say about that. Like, that's all I got to say. The next thing that I want to talk about is modesty. Which is a, like a favorite topic that I really want to talk about. Because the way you dress is basically like... it's a I don't want to say it's a representation. But at the end of the day, like the way you dress can like describe it. Of course, you wear what you want to wear. Wear the colorful shirt. Wear the jeans. Wear the bright shoes. Like, honestly, like I'm so all for that. But also, like learn how learning how to like not necessarily i don't want to say cover up but wear the clothes that you want to wear like a representation of like who you like not necessarily who you are but like your when it comes to our body especially us as women like we have to make sure that we are being very very what's the word like very um intentional with the way we dress i guess i can say that word just intentional and wear certain things to help us to you know be like the woman that god wants us to be so what do i mean by that like it's a difference between wear something that's like kind of inappropriate and then it's a difference between like uh wearing something that's like very for the occasion of course we have certain things that like you wear what you want to wear whatever you want to wear but it also things like for the occasion my hair earring is stuck in my hair anyways um so yeah and at the end of the day it's like we have to be very very cautious too as women as well but i do want to just touch on modesty just a little bit because it's it's, it's a lot but if modesty is something like that i also value as well but in the day like if you want to show a little shoulder you want to show a little back or you want to wear a little cute little a little bit of cute little crop top but it's a difference between like, like i said going all willy nilly and all willy all wild and out between just being free and being yourself like it's a difference like of course you can be yourself but as you grow with god it will eventually change like as you grow with god you eventually understand modesty as a woman and i struggle with that as well with certain clothes that i wear certain like graphic tees or whatever you want to call it like as you grow with god your taste will become different 
I think it says in the Bible, like, once you taste God, like, once you taste the flow and how God is, or, like, his, understand his love, and you understand who he is, you understand Jesus, then, of course, the taste of certain things, like, how you view certain things, the certain things that you watch, certain music that you listen to, it's going to change eventually. You just, it, it eventually, it'll change. So, yeah, and the next thing I want to talk about is peer pressure peer pressure honey for all my teenage girls out here and like you're a teenage if you're in college as well honey if you know that you don't want to do something then don't do it you just say no that's when a little too far but literally say no like don't be a be don't be afraid to you know I know peer pressure is something that I struggle with as well. Like someone to ask me, like, oh, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And I just kind of like ease in because I'm afraid that if I don't do it, I won't be, be fitting in. And I, they look at me differently. And they, look, they call me a party pooper or whatever you want to call this and that. Like, honestly, do what you know you should do. Like, listen to the Holy Spirit. You know you're not supposed to do that. Then if you're feeling the conviction or whatever, it's like, you know you're not supposed to be doing that. Then don't do it. Don't. And it's hard because, like, we think, I don't know because the world is telling me to do this or someone's telling me to do this. But at the same time, I feel like I shouldn't. I don't know. Like, I know it's hard. It's hard between, you know, those two things. But like I said, go to God. You Go to God. Go to God about it. He will let you know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. He will let you know. He may let you know immediately. But eventually, he will let you know. And the next thing I want to talk about is FOMO, fear of missing out. Honey, you're not missing out. You're, you are where you're supposed to be within life. I know it's hard to be dealing with when you're dealing with certain things of life. And you're just like, man, everybody out here doing this and that. Everybody out here just having fun. And I'm missing out. I, I know what it's like to deal with that. But hey, like I said, you are not missing out. You aren't. You are just fine where you are. Like you aren't missing out. When God has you, he has you. You aren't missing out. Whatever door closes, God will open another door. Like God is going to help you to get through what you're dealing with. And he's there for you. And he's going to help you. Like you're not missing out. But when it comes to FOMO, you're not missing out. And the next thing that I want to talk about is mood swings and PMSing. Honey, when you're in your cycle, it's for the girls. Like us girls out here. When you're in your cycle, your emotions can be out of whack. Out of whack. And I know what it's like to just be like, man, I don't know. I'm just having a breakdown and I'm craving food and all this type of stuff. And I'm eating unhealthy and I don't know what to do. And I don't feel like myself and I'm down on myself. I don't feel like myself. And I'm just like, uh, I know. I know. But at the end of the day, you have to. You have to believe and trust God that you're going to get through that week. I'm being so real right now though like seriously like when it comes to like when you're on your cycle and you're on your menstrual cycle at the end of the day i know what it's like to just have those negative thoughts come in your head and you're just so negative but you have to re repeat scripture over your mind yes you might be dealing with those negative thoughts while you're literally pmsing or whatever you want to call it but at the end of the day you have to re recite scripture where you might have to be positive and dive into god's word i'm telling you when you dive into god's word it's like that that ain't gonna mess with you i know your, your your mood swings or whatever you want to call it your your mental health or your mood may be a little off and that's for all of them i'm being real right here but like i said god can help you through it he can help you to get through it and to help positive stuff you might be crying might be having a mental breakdown and it's okay to feel your feelings it's okay to have feelings and it's okay to take care of your mental health and to allow yourself to just be i'm not saying to just fight it off and just um uh snap out of it like no i'm not saying that but at the end of the day, it is good to stay scripture over yourself and to believe and to trust God and just try to be as positive and also use gratitude, like I said before, within this video. Um, I have two more things I want to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is boys versus men. Honey. Girl. Let's get into it. Okay, so like I feel like we all know within this generation how it is with men but at the end of the day i think we put too much emphasis on it sometimes like we put too much emphasis on it but at the end of the day like don't settle girl that's one thing i want to say don't settle and this difference between a boy and a man like with us women if you're a teenager that's it's still it still goes for you too but there's a difference between someone who wants to pursue you and be with you and take care of you if you're a teenager then try to focus on your grades girl what with too much blush on? Mm. I might use a beetle blender to get that off. 
But if, it, like I said, like, it's a difference between a boy and a man. Like, for us women out here who are over, like, 18, I'm talking about you guys, like, it's a difference between a boy and a man. Like, girl, like, really? Like, we don't have to settle for anything other than that. And that's all I gotta say. Let me stop. No, for real. Like, honestly, I feel like when a, a man is a person who's gonna, like, love you for you and you know the difference between what you want and what you deserve don't settle for, like i said if you have high standards keep those high standards of course god will help you to whatever standards he wants you to have but know your worth and love yourself like don't settle for anything other than that do not sit up here and you know get down on yourself because he wants you to do this and that like no 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 like like you are just you are a gem like god loves you that's one thing i want to speak on right now is confidence do like just like be the person that god wants you to be embrace it embrace your personality embrace who you are stop trying to hold back because you're afraid of what society might think you're afraid of what this person might say like no just be yourself like stop trying to please the world and you know um do what people stop wearing what people think like i know it's hard i know it's hard like i i dealt with it in high school i was like i wouldn't wear certain outfits because i was afraid this person might think or what the person might say but we we got we gotta we gotta like step out of it because like um and eventually like grow into the individual that god wants us to be like embrace all that god has created about you the talents the gifts all of it and one thing I want to talk about too is social anxiety. So social anxiety goes along with confidence because I know it's like to go out and about, you go to the grocery store or you're at a party and you're afraid to speak up in class or at um in school. I know what it's like to, you know, feel like that. But just trust God and just literally I keep saying trust God within this video, but it literally is the truth. Like look to God and Ask him to give you strength and know you can do all things to Christ who strengthens you. Ask him to help you to, you know, um, have the confidence. Because first of all, you have confidence in God. Like, have confidence in God that God can help you to get through what you're dealing with. Have confidence that God can make a way. That's the first thing. Have God, God, God confidence. Confidence doesn't come from just us alone. Yeah, self-love and all this type of stuff and self-confidence. But it doesn't come from us alone. It comes from the Lord above. Like what it says in scripture that you gotta like love your neighbor as yourself and you gotta love yourself you have to love who god created god created you that there's power in the fact that god created you he chose you you are chosen so just remember that and just keep going and just like never get pulled on life i feel like it was like a little bit of motivational little chit chat but at the end of the day just keep going Keep going in life like I know it can be hard sometimes and I'm about to sit my face right away sorry I don't mean to interrupt all right you got this braided the hair to the side you know like this did something real cute uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. anyways I'm feeling myself anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video this little juicy tea my girl talk you know I was rambling all over the place but I really hope you guys enjoyed it Knock stuff over. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember that you are loved, that you are beautiful, that God loves you, and you're going to get through it no matter whatever you are dealing with throughout your life right now. I don't care what it is, financial issues, to mental health issues, to physical issues, medical issues, whatever it might be, God can make a way through it. He's going to help you to get through it. Jesus loves you, and you're going to get through it. And remember that you are loved, that you are beautiful, that you are greatness, and greatness is always coming for your life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel for some bonfire and lit content. Okay? And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! Deuces!